Are you looking for a graphics card that performs but doesn't blow your budget? Well, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com and I'll show you how to choose a graphics card in 5 steps. A graphics card is made up of the card and its components as well as a dedicated processor, the GPU. The GPU is responsible for the complex mathematical calculations needed to render graphics to your screen. Manufacturers like Asus, Gigabyte and EVGA use these GPUs made by NVIDIA and AMD to design their graphics cards. Start by looking at the main component on the graphics card, the GPU. In these series, the higher the model numbers, the newer the graphics card. Just like the computer's CPU, the higher the GPU's clock speed, the faster it is. The graphics card uses onboard memory called GDDR3 and GDDR5. This is used to hold data for the GPU to process. More memory is good, but the type, speed and bandwidth is more important. GDDR5 memory is able to move data at 4 times the memory's clock speed, whereas GDDR3 can only manage 2 times the clock speed. Don't get caught out by the big manufacturers who use this to confuse us. That clock speed is misleading because GDDR5 memory runs at 4 times the actual clock speed. So, although its effective clock speed is 5000 MHz, its actual clock speed is 5000 divided by 4, which is 1250 MHz. Look out for these numbers and be aware how to compare like-for-like -like memory clock speeds. The bitrate is the amount of memory the card can push through the GPU for processing. Look out for higher bit rates because they really do improve performance, like frame rates in games for example. The technology that works out how to make 3D objects look realistic on screen is called CUDA cores by NVIDIA and shaders by AMD. The more cores on the GPU, the better your card performs at running games on higher settings or running graphics software without freezing or crashing. Some games and programs are also designed to use this technology to improve performance. Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, is optimized to use CUDA cores for faster video editing. One thing I hate is a noisy computer. All those pesky fans get loud. The way to reduce the noise is to look at GPUs with low TDP values. The thermal design power is a good indicator of how cool the GPU runs, so bear that in mind when picking your graphics card. The graphics card you choose will slot into the PCI slot on your motherboard and will likely be PCI version 3.0. Maximize your card's performance by checking that your card supports this version. The width of the slots varies from X2 to X16 and beyond, so make sure you have a slot on the board available and enough room for the card to fit. Most cards need extra power to run, so make sure your PSU has the right connectors. These are usually 8 or 4 pin power connectors. Lastly, make sure the cards on your wish list have the ports you'll need and support the right resolutions and number of monitors. In the next video in this series, we'll be looking at choosing a computer case for your new build. Until then, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com. <laughs>